Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to see how we can build the OpenCV with the CUDA support. So when we install the Jetpack for the first time, OpenCV comes pre-installed with it but OpenCV is not compiled with the CUDA. There is an easier way to check whether the OpenCV installed is available with the CUDA support or not. So you can open the terminal and run the JTOP command. You will only be able to run the JTOP command if you have installed Jetson Stats Python packages. You can do that by going by running the command pip3 install Jetson Stats. Jetson Stats is a wonderful library to get the statistics of your Jetson device. I have already installed it, so I'm just going to run it by using command JTOP. As you can see, it's showing us all the information related to our Jetson device. I can go to the information here and we can see that the OpenCV is not compiled with the CUDA. Now, I'm using Jetson Xavier NX, but if you have Jetson Nano, you can still follow up with this tutorial. So let's see what scripts we have in order to compile and build OpenCV with the CUDA support. So I have already downloaded the script which I need in order to build the OpenCV with the CUDA support. Let's have a look at the script. Now inside this script, if you if you see here is the architecture. If you are using Jetson Nano, you need 5.3 architecture. But because I'm using Jetson Xavier, so I'll remove this and I'll mention 7.2. I'll put the link to download this script in the description box below. Let's run this script. Now because this script can take a lot of time and can consume all, res all resources of your Jetson device, make sure that you are using Jetson clocks and you have enough space size. So to start the script, you need to run dot slash compile. And it's always a good idea to save the logs of your build so that if in between the script crashes you will be able to know how much it will be it was completed so for that i'll run now let's run this command running this script on jetson xavier can take up to an hour to complete if you are using jetson Nano, this can take up to two to three hours, so be patient. Okay, so finally after around two hours, the OpenCV is now complete. Its build process is complete. So I've just rebooted my Jetson device. So let's just quickly see if the OpenCV is now built with the, the CUDA or not. So the easiest way to check is simply use the Jetson stats Python library, which I also previously mentioned. So I'm just going to hit the command JTOP. And if we move to the info, you will notice that here it is showing OpenCV compiled with CUDA, yes. So in this way, you can compile your OpenCV with the CUDA and some other supports as well. Uh, I'm going to put the links to all the repositories I have visited in order to make this script. So you can download the script from, uh, from the link given in the description box as well. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.